Okay, here's a little tutorial on how to make animated GIFs from Nimslo files. So here you can see this is a set of four Nimslo frames that I scanned. And what we're going to do is actually cut out each of these uh, individual frames, layer them, and then from those layers make a GIF. So I'm going to close this down. To save time, I've already pulled out each of the four frames. So you can see they're labeled one, two, three, and four. I'm going to start with number four. And I'm going to go over to my Layers palette. I'm going to rename that 4 just to keep it clear. I will find picture number 3. I'm going to drag that onto picture number 4. When I hold down the Shift, it's automatically centered. I'm going to name that number 3 on the Layers palette. I'm going to come over here, close file 3. I'm going to grab number 2. Again, Shift drag. That's in place. Rename the layer to number 2. Close number 2. Grab number one, drag that over. So now, if we look at our layers palette, I have four files. One, two, three, and four. Now, ultimately, I want to make this a square uh, animation for Instagram or for use on Facebook. So what I want to do is I want to crop this to a square. I already have my square aspect ratio setup and actually now that I say that I'm not going to do that at this point because I forgot almost forgot one important step we have to line up all these these files relative to one another so I'm going to go to file 3 and I'm going to make the blend mode difference I'm going to come up here and I'm going to line up each of these frames to my eye so I'm going to grab the move tool come here and that looks pretty good. Now take and go from difference back to normal. I'll come over here, grab frame two, go to difference. Maybe I'll zoom in a little more for greater clarity so you can see that. Use the move tool. And I'm just taking my arrow keys. and That looks good. Moving up, down, left, right. Put that back to normal. Take frame number one, move that to difference. And again, line up these frames. So now they're all lined up on my eyeball. And we're almost ready to make the GIF, but before we do that, now I want to crop it. So I'm going to grab my crop tool. I have it set to the aspect ratio of 1 to 1 square. I'm going to come in here, kind of center myself on the frame. This is, by the way, a picture of me from the early 1980s. Now I'm going to come up to image size, go to 72 pixels per inch and make it uh, 1080 pixels. That's good for Instagram. I'm going to hit OK. All right, so now let's take these four files and let's make our animation. Uh, down below here you can see there's a button that says create frame, frame animation and I think you, you get that by going to window timeline. That'll turn that on. Alright, so I'll click create frame animation. Right now there's one frame down there. I want to add additional frames. Uh, but in order to make this a looping video you can see we'd have one, two, three, four and then it would loop back to one. Well, I, I want to actually cycle back and fourth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take frame two and frame three. I'm going to drag those down to copy them and then I'm going to change the order. So I've slid these over and now we have frame one, two, three, four, three, two, and then it will go back to one. And that will allow this GIF to cycle back and forth. So let's grab these and now come over here and go to make frames from layers. Now you can see we have six frames here. I'm going to slide this up a bit. If I hit the play button, you can see on screen that's cycling back and forth. Now what I want to do is put just the tiniest little delay. So I'm going to grab all six here, and uh, I'm going to come over to this drop down where it says zero seconds. I'm going to put that to 0 0.1 second. I just found that works quite well. All right, so there we go. There's our animation. Let's stop that. Uh, I like to add a watermark to it. You don't have to do that. If you want to add a watermark, all you do is you come to this top frame, grab your text tool. I like to type in, you know, AR, oops, 
like diamond pound, A-R-T of M-J-B. That's my Instagram hashtag. And I also like to come over and go my website, michaelbrown.com. All right, now let's grab our move tool, slide that over here, and let's hit play. Whoops, that's no good. Let's see what we're doing here. Let's delete this animation. And let's slide our text where we want it. And now let's grab all our frames. Oop. Make a new animation. Make frames from layers. There's everything except my text. So I'll turn that on. You can see there's that flash right at the end. That's a frame here we just have to discard. That's where the, the text layer was. So I just grab that one, drag it to the trash. Now we hit play. There's our animation back and forth with the watermark on it. I'll hit stop. Let's go up here and save that. We go file, export, save for web, legacy. The uh, format we want is GIF. We want to make sure it's set to loop forever. And then we hit save. And I'm going to save this one on the desktop. And we'll call it Mike GIF. Hit save. Now I'll come over, I'll grab Mike GIF, and I'll throw it into a web browser. And there you go. Now it's playing. So that's how we do that. Now, if you want to export for Instagram, you have to do things a little differently. Instagram wants a video, not a GIF. And so what we want to do is come back over here, and we have to make additional frames. So what I do is I typically grab these six. I duplicate them. That gives me 12. I grab those 12. I duplicate them. Oops. I said I grab those 12, duplicate 24 frames. Grab these, 48 frames, grab those, 96 frames, and I grab those one more time. I don't know how much that is, maybe 190 frames or so, but Instagram has a requirement for a, a short video. It has to be three or four seconds, so if I only use the six original frames, that would not work. So let's come over here. Let's delete our animation. Let's come up here. Show all our frames. Let's make a new animation. Make frames from layers. The beach ball just takes it a little while. Come over here. We end up with 193 frames. My watermark's not turned on. Let's turn that on. That's now in all the frames. Let's take this one and delete it. Now let's grab all our frames. One. Let's go to the end. Shift click to 192. That's those all up for 0.1 second delay. Let's test it by hitting play. There we go. Now let's save a video. File. This time we go export render video screen comes up I'm just select to save it on the desktop go back here oops excuse me pilot error save it on the desktop choose that give it a name mic mp4 and hit render Okay, very good. Now let's find that on the desktop. Mic MP4. Drag it on QuickTime Player. Hit play. There we go. There's our video export of our animated GIF. And once you load that up to Instagram, even though this is only, I don't know, a 10 or 12 second video, it will continue to loop. So we'll close that. So that's how we make uh, 
animated GIFs and videos from four frame NIMS load captures. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial.